So I'm curious about what's going to happen in the next 5,000 days. If, if that's happened in the last 5,000 days, what's going to happen in the next 5,000 days? So I, 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 have, a, I have a kind of a simple story. And it suggests that, that what we want to think about is this thing that we're making, this thing that's happened in 5,000 days, that's all these computers, all these handhelds, all these cell phones, all these laptops, all the servers. Basically, what we're getting out of all these connections is, is we're getting one machine. That there is only one machine. And our little handhelds and devices are actually just little windows into those machines, but that we're basically constructing a single global machine. I was trying to basically make uh, measurements. What are the dimensions of this machine? And I started off by calculating how many billions of clicks there are all around the globe on all the computers. And there's 100 billion clicks per day. And there's 55 trillion links. But there's 1 billion PC chips on the internet. If you count all the chips and all the computers on the internet, there's 2 million emails per second. So it's a very big number. These are, these are just a huge machine. It uses 5% of the global electricity on the planet. So here's the specifications. It's just as if you were to make up a spec sheet for it. 170 quadrillion transistors, 55 trillion links, emails running at 2 megahertz itself, 31 kilohertz text messaging, 246 exabyte storage. That's a big disk. That's a lot of storage, memory. 9 exabyte RAM. And it's the total traffic on this is running at 7 terabytes per second. Brewster was saying the uh, Library of Congress is about 20 terabytes. So every second, half of the Library of Congress is swooshing around in this machine. It's a big machine. So I did something else. I figured out uh, 100 billion clicks per day. 55 trillion links is almost the same as the number of synapses in your brain. A quadrillion transistors is almost the same as the number of neurons in your brain. So to, to, to a first approximation, we have these things, 20 petahertz synapse firings. Of course, the memory is just really huge. But to a first approximation, the size of this machine is the size in its complexity, so it is kind of, to your brain. Because, in fact, that's how your brain works, in kind of the same way that the web is work. However, your brain isn't doubling every two years. <laughs> so, if we say this machine right now that we've made is about one HB, one human brain, if we look at the rate that this is increasing, in 30 years from now, there'll be six billion HBs. So by the year 2040, the total processing of this machine will exceed the total processing power of humanity. So the next 5,000 days, it's not going to be the web and only better. It's just like it was not TV and only better, it's not going to, the next 5,000 days is not just going to be the web, but only better. It's going to be something different. And I think the, the, it's going to be smarter. They'll have an intelligence in there that's not, again, conscious, but it, it'll anticipate what we're doing in a good sense. Secondly, it's become much more personalized. It will know us, and that's good. And again, the price of that will be transparency. And thirdly, it's going to become more ubiquitous in terms of filling our entire environment and that we will be in the middle of it. And all these devices will be portals into that. So the single idea that I wanted to leave with you is that we have to begin to think about this as not just the web only better, but a new kind of stage in this development. It looks more global. If you take this whole thing, it is a very big machine, very reliable machine, more reliable than its parts. But we could also think about it as kind of a large organism. And so we might re respond to it more as if this was a whole system, more as if this wasn't a large organism that we are going to be interacting with. It's, it's a one, and I don't know what else to call it than the one. Here's what I would say. There's only one machine, and the web is its OS. All screens look into the one. No bits will live outside the web. To share is to gain. Let the one read it, and the one is us. We are in the one. I appreciate your time. Wow.